Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Uh, we're here today to help clear up some confusion about the Brahmas. Um, not really confusion, but we have gotten some questions. Um, basically, if you go to the Ski Essentials website right now and you go to the top right and click on the search bar and type in Brahma and, and hit enter, uh, you're going to get a lot of different Brahmas. So we thought we would take a moment um, to run through them real quick and talk about a ski that you probably haven't seen before, um, the Brahma SP right here. So before we dive into that, um, like I said, if you search for Brahma right now, you're going to come up with a lot of results. Um, this isn't actually all of them, but this is a pretty good representation. This is the 2017 Brahma. Um, we did a full review on that ski uh, a little over a year ago. You can check it out on our chairlift chat blog. Um, or just, just search 2017 Brahma review and, and your chances are you're going to find it. Um, this is the same ski. This is also a 2017 Brahma. Not very many people have seen this graphic. Um, it is a limited edition black graphic um, that I think looks really cool. So if you're planning on buying a 2017 Brahma, uh, you can choose between kind of the classic gray um, and this, this limited edition black graphic. Um, kind of Continuing with the black theme, um, this is the 2018 Brahma. Um, we're going to do a full review of that ski um, probably early in the fall. Um, and there's also a new Brahma for 2018 that you don't see here, the Brahma CA. Um, in addition to that, we have a, a couple pairs of 2016 Brahmas too that I didn't bring up here. Um, but you're going to see a lot of Brahmas. So going back to the Brahma CA quickly, um, the Brahma CA you know, I don't know if I don't know if you guys remember the Blizzard Bushwhacker, but essentially the Bushwhacker was a Brahma with no metal in it, um, and the Brahma CA is kind of the new Bush or the new Brahma with no metal in it. Instead of metal in the Brahma CA, uh, there's carbon now, um, so it's much much lighter. Um, it's still super fun to ski, very very responsive. Um, you'll see it in our ski test results, and like I said, we'll do a full review as well. Um, now this. Brahma SP is somewhat similar to that Brahma CA, but it is different. So let's talk about what sets this thing apart. And, you know, let's look at the one that has a binding on it, because that's kind of part of what's special about this ski. So the Brahma SP here, this ski was originally intended um, to be part of what Blizzard called a premier rental program. Um, there's probably some of you watching that as soon as I said rental ski, you want to click pause and click back on your browser and you, you don't think the rental ski is going to be right for you. Uh, but but hang on, uh, we're, we're going to talk about what makes it different than, than most rental skis. Um, so the idea was to provide brick and mortar rental shops a you know, a superior alternative to a traditional rental ski. It's not like having a demo fleet with a ton of different skis in it. Um, rather, they were giving shops the ability to have a fleet of the same ski that was a really nice ski. So, similar to the Brahma CA, uh, Blizzard has removed the two sheets of metal from this ski. So, it's now a wood core um, and there is carbon in the construction as well. Uh, Blizzard said it was similar to the construction of the Brahma CA, um, so we're not going to we're not going to jump the gun and say it's identical, but it's definitely pretty similar. Um, and then the difference in the construction of the ski, or really the finishing qualities of the ski, um, it's tough to see on the video. You kind of have to have it in your hand and compare it to a different ski. But because it was intended for rental use. Uh, they designed this ski to take quite a bit of, did I already say abuse? Rental abuse. It's very durable, this ski. Um, the, the edges are basically thicker than a traditional Brahma. Like I said, you can't really see very well in the video because it is somewhat subtle, um, but it's noticeable. Uh, it also has a thicker base material, um, so it's not as prone to damage from on-trail debris, let's call it, if you ski over some rocks. Um, the, less of a chance that you're going to get a core shot on this ski. Um, it also has a very durable textured top sheet. Hopefully you could hear my, my fingernails across it there. Um, but definitely different than the, the retail-oriented Brahmas 
um, and again designed to, to take quite a bit of abuse. Um, and then you can see it has a metal tip protector as well where the normal Brahma does not. Um, so basically it's designed to withstand, uh, gosh, a ton of abuse, uh, use and abuse. So I, this is a great ski for somebody that wants a, you know, a little bit more of a relaxed all mountain ski compared to the Brahma. There's not metal in it, um, so it's it's not nearly as heavy. Um, it's a little easier to ski. Um, again, like I said, we're gonna do a full review on the Brahma CA. So when we do that, you can kind of take our take our thoughts on that and and apply it to this as well. Um, it is, it's not a Brahma CA, I, I will go back and, and say that. Um, one thing that sets it apart, um, it has an in-between turn radius compared to the 17 Brahma and the 18 Brahma. Um, if we're talking the 180 length, which this is not, but those skis are, um, essentially the 2017 Brahma has a 19 meter turn radius at the 180 length, uh, I believe the 2018 Brahma has a 17 meter turn radius at the 180 length. This falls right smack dab in the middle at 18. <clears throat> Excuse me, 18. So, you know, still kind of a middle of the road uh, turn radius for an all mountain ski. I think 18 meters is a, uh, 17 to 19 in included. I think uh, that's a great turn radius for an all mountain ski. It's pretty responsive on groomers, but not not so short that it just wants to turn all the time. Um, and then to finish off here. This is, it comes packaged with essentially a marker demo binding. Um, it's a pretty cool binding, it's the TP10. You can see I left the binding off this ski so you can see the track. Um, it really is a rental or demo track, um, but kind of the same as, as most system skis out there. You know, often when you times when you see a system ski, it won't have all these numbers on it for different boot sole lengths, uh, but it's essentially the same system. So. People that shy away from demo or rental bindings, um, they're really no different than, than a system ski. Um, it's a, a plate and then the binding slides onto the plate. So that's all the difference there. Um, I think it's a great value, the ski and binding right now. Can't remember exactly what the price is, but check it out on skiessentials.com. Um, it, it's much less than, than these skis, um, especially if you were to add a binding to those. So that's the Brahma SP. Definitely let us know if you have any questions in the comments on this video or the article. Uh, I think we touched on everything that makes it different from the normal Brahma. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, definitely let us know. We've had a lot of questions about this ski. Um, people see it on the site and get a little confused and interested what it is and where it, where it fits in. Um, so hopefully this helps answer your questions, but if you have more, certainly let us know. And keep an eye out for the results of our 2018 ski test where you'll see uh, some results from the 2018 Brahma as well as the Brahma CA and like I said we will do a full length review on Sheriff Chat of those skis at some point before the ski season or early in the ski season as well. So check them out, Brahma SP, plenty of Brahma options on SkiEssentials.com. Um, so lots to choose from and they're all great skis.